Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to Feral Art. Today, tonight, looks like night, kind of is, um, we are going to um, play with the uh, Fiona <laughs> um, water fall water moving paint thing on this um, 11 by 14 oval toilet seat canvas. It's actually a canvas. Um, that I have laid some texture on just because I thought might be fun. Never know. Anyway, um, so uh, we're going to be using Amsterdam's white and uh, Atelier Interactive uh, Thalo Turquoise and TLP and Zeiss and TLP and Grenache, of course, because, you know, everything today is mixed with mix. Uh, the TLPs <coughs> were dispersed in a little bit of Gelsonia and Saks Gel Gloss uh, because I wanted them a little thinner. And I really, I don't know, I've put water in TLPs before and they work fine. Um, it just makes me... I don't know, a little nervous. So, um, I didn't. Um, my consistency, I don't know whether, is sort of a melting into itself mound on a mound. Um, so without further ado, let's get down on the canvas. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. I don't know how this is going to go. I guess we're going to find out. slow but she's old I didn't change my channel name to art with grandma somebody called me grandma the other day on one of my 100 day challenge things and it kind of tickled me at first it kind of made me mad and then I was like wait a minute you are kind of grandma age you know these young kids they
get a blue on the white and a little bit of white on the blue. Ooh. Mm, well, <laughs> well, and now we have our Zoys. A little of that. Nervous, nervous. Real bad. My grenache, which looks really milky, but it'll draw good. Okay. Now I gotta blow this. This is gonna be great because I can't reach it. <laughs> I'm just uh, not quite tall enough. Well, it's okay. Tee. Okay. Got that part done. Oh, that just looks kind of pretty all by itself. But yeah, no. But yeah, no. <laughs> Get it together, Cal. Oh, look at that. We're not getting anything. Hmm. Probably my bad for something. Let's go this way. What I need is more hands. There it comes. Oh, there she comes. This is really kind of cool. Oh, here comes some nice dark blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck yeah, yeah, yeah. I dig it, y'all. I like chaos. I know some people don't, and that is fine. If we all like the same things, it would be a boring, boring world, but I think this is cool. 
and I'm about to be, I'm about to, I'm about to declare it because I don't want it to get too ooky, too runny. But I think this is pretty neat. I think this is pretty neat indeed, dudes. Dudes it, dude it. A little bit more over here. Get some of that. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Now let's get, let's see here. What, we, what, 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 what can we do here? You know, it's always just a little more, just a little more, just a little more until it's just a little too much. <laughs> Ain't that the truth, though? I can't wait to see, you know, how this dries to see if the, if the, um, texture shows through. Okay, let's just get that a little, a little, little. There we go. All right, I'm calling it done, you guys, because this looks pretty cool. You don't, you just really don't see it as much on the dark side. That's, you know, pretty much what everybody has said is you just don't get the, same kind of um, show on the dark side as you do on the light side, but I am okay with that. I am 100% fine with this. I think it's cool. Okay? Okay, so let me clean some things up and then we'll come in for the wet results. Mm -hmm. And here are our dried results, or wet results. I keep getting them backwards. This is the wet results, people. Wet, not dry. You can see, kind of, the um, where the white came down. Um, there's the middle. I think that's so pretty. I love the white. I love those stripes right there. Look at those, man. This is so pretty, I think. Look at the little, you can see just the little wispies. Now, I'm sure that won't show up very well when it's dry. But for right now, it's really pretty. And look up in the white. That's probably what it really looks like down in the blue. It's just that the blue is so dark that you just can't really see it. I am thinking this is really cool. I love chaos, you guys. Which is good because my life is usually a little chaotic. But anyway, look at the, look at inside there where the colors are in. Isn't that neat? Isn't it neat? I like it. Well, neat as in neat O, not as in neat in your room. Anyway, I, I can't get enough. Now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I just want to keep looking. Look at that. So cool. So, so cool. And if you don't like it, that's fine. Good. We don't want to all like the same things. It would be a very boring world, wouldn't it? So anyway, there's our wet results. Happy day. Love those. See you when they're dry. Here we go with our dried results. Again, shooting inside. It was gross outside today. So this is my water flow technique um, inspired by Fiona. Um, I did put a little texture underneath here, um, which I am really liking a lot and, um, use the Grenache and Zeiss, uh, this little piggies. And I really think this is so pretty with the wispy, feathery, textury stuff here. I think this is a really cool technique. There are just so many cool things that you can do with it. Um, I know it's kind of messy and kind of chaotic, but that, again, is why I like it. Um, made all the more messy and chaotic by my texture. Um, I wish I would have textured the whole thing, but it was it was an experiment to see, you know, if this would even work with texture and it did beautifully and I'm digging it big time hardcore so I'll probably you'll probably be seeing another one of these for me except with more texture so again dry results shot inside unfortunately 
but uh, I think you can really see the uh, the effects here, and I dig it. So, thanks for watching.